How's it going everyone today and welcome back to Rick's Gadgets. I uh, wanted to kind of talk about a subject of using home sear with mixed technologies and for example using uh, X10 devices with Z-Wave devices and I'm still running both systems. I have a lot of remotes that are X10 and maybe you want to have that X10 remote trigger a Z-Wave remote or a appliance. So what I wanted to do today is um, show you one example here um, where I use my remotes to control scenes within our den. And uh, for example, I wanted to have a X10 remote. Uh, if I press the on button, I want to turn on all the lights in my den. And same thing if I want to turn them off. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a quick setup here of, of how I do that. So what I'm showing here is I've got it filtered down to just my DIN devices. Uh, not all of them are in my DIN, but I just kind of classify them because they're all in the same general location, even the Christmas tree when it's up and running. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create a device and let's call it DIN lights. And we will submit that. And what I want to do is I'm going to classify it as the first floor and then just like my other ones sort of show up in that group and here what I'm doing is this is kind of like a virtual device so I almost do my virtual devices as V's so I'm just gonna name it as V1 and that way it's kind of tucked out of any X10 codes that you could possibly come up with so now since I want to trigger this with an X10 remote I'm going to use my CMA uh, 15 and uh, here I'm going to define it my house code and for just testing I'm just going to do A1 and I'll do done. So now I've got this den lights with an on off. Alright so now what I want to do is when I turn this on I want to turn my chair and couch light on and off. So now I've got to run an event and on the event side uh, as you can see I've already got some and I've just got a, a group called X10 to Z-Wave and what I want to do is I want to create a new event and we're going to call it uh, DIN Lights On. Now this is the thing, you have to do one for on and one for off because it's uh, it just, it's, it's easier to work out that way. So what we're going to do is DIN Lights On, what we're going to say is when a device value changes and becomes and what we're going to do is we're going to select that DIN um, dim lights and we're going to say when it becomes on we're going to select we're going to control a device and we're going to pick the device as the first floor chair which is an X10 module so I'm kind of using mixed technologies here and I'm going to control my couch light control a device and we're going to do first floor couch which is a Z-Wave device and we're going to say on. Now that's our on. Um, so an easy way to do a, a off one is we're just going to go up here and clone it. And now you can see dim lights on copy. So we'll just go in here and we're going to rename this. And we'll make it off and submit it. And we just want to go and change all of our values to off and you can do this as well if you want to do like dimming type events um, you could you know you could set lights on it but you'd have to create another device and say dim to 50 percent or you know figure out the the values you want you could do whatever you know type values in here and um, and this can be used for many things you can you could do it for your z-wave motion sensors uh, just create an event where the motion sensor triggers your X10 or your Z-Wave devices. Just create an event for the device change and you can do that to turn on your light. Whereas when the old X10 system you could put your lights and your motion sensors on the same device code and they would come on and off because they would trigger it just independently. So now that we've got our uh, event set up, so we'll go back to the home here. And so now 
If I press the A1 on my X10 uh, keypad, um, I'm just going to simulate it here. I'm just going to turn the dim lights on. And you'll see it turn the chair lights on and the couch light. So everything's on. And so now when you're ready to go to bed, just go in and hit the uh, A1 off. And that will turn off all your lights. And that's how you can, can control, you know, multiple lights with uh, just one button from an X10 or vice versa. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions or would like to see some more content or another type of scenario explained out, let me know. I'd appreciate it. And please hit subscribe and the like button. And I look forward to you coming back and checking out my future videos.